When it comes to pinning down the government on Dominic Cummings' trip to Durham, Britain's elite journalism corps have been having a bit of a mare at the daily Downing Street briefing. Uh, the media now, please. Ian Watson from the BBC. Ian, I think you need to unmute. Can we get Ian's audio? And hey, we all fumble the ball sometimes. Ugh. Today, in an unprecedented move, Cummings will address the nation directly and field questions from the press himself. The stakes have never been higher, and there's no room for flubs at this level. So, what can journalists do to make sure the public are kept properly informed and the powerful are held to account? Well, firstly, it would be infinitely more effective for journalists to stop with the grandstanding and ask one simple question and one follow-up if they're able to. In a private facey sense, breached three of the lockdown. I'm going to be clear, Prime Minister, in saying that he behaved honourably, did the right thing uh, by, uh, you know, yes, no, not sure. And secondly, absolutely nobody wants to hear Tolstoy's war and peace in the leader. Get to the point pin the government down on statements of fact and reiterate the question if it goes unanswered. Because here's what we really need to know. How many times did Dominic Cummings travel between London and Durham during lockdown? Was there, in Dr Jenny Harries's words, an extreme risk to life which could justify the Cummings family driving 260 miles to Durham to seek alternative childcare arrangements, which in the end were never used? Why, in neither of the Spectator pieces, written by Dominic Cummings or Mary Wakefield, was it not mentioned that they had self-isolated in Durham rather than London? Same goes, by the way, for Mary Wakefield's interview on BBC Radio 4. When did the Prime Minister first learn of Dominic Cummings' trip to Durham? What is the explanation, if any, for a car with a number plate linked to Dominic Cummings being spotted at Barnard Castle? And Last but not least, Grant Shapp said that Dominic Cummings flatly denied that Durham Police had spoken to any member of his family. This was in turn contradicted by Durham Police, who said that they had spoken to Dominic Cummings' father. So, who is telling the truth? Durham Police or Dominic Cummings? Anyway, that's me. To the esteemed members of the Westminster lobby, good luck and don't fuck it up.